Customs House here on the corner of Richmond and Wharf Street in the heart of historic Maribor is one of our really special historic buildings. It was completed over 120 years ago to a design by the gifted art architect John Smith Murdoch, who also designed the original Parliament House in Canberra. I'm here with Sean from the Council, who is overseeing the restoration works. Sean, it's quite a lot of work going on right now, oh, isn't it? It's fantastic. We've got a fantastic opportunity to get in and, and, and return some of the, the structure back to its original. Um, we found that um, approximately 32 coats of paint that we can remove. Yeah. Um, it's been a bit of a challenge. Uh, a lot of lead-based paint there we have to remove very carefully, obviously with today's OHNS standards. Um, but the works are progressing really well. Um, we're, we're really happy with, with what we're going to end up with. So we're getting rid of all of the modern things like the air conditioner units, the electricity boxes, the overhead fans, putting in um, these services in a way you can't see them and restoring it to much more of its original look from 120 years ago. Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect opportunity to remove some of the surface conduits that were perhaps put on there 30, 40 years ago uh, and just return the structure back to its original unmolested form. Yeah, is, thanks, Sean. I'm, I'm really forward to, looking forward to seeing what's happening. Yeah, Should we great. have a look? Yes, great. Come on in. Now, Sean, one of the really um, interesting aspects of the building is the wonderful brickwork, mm. which on closer inspection has this really um, special tuck pointing where the builders have gone in and put over the actual uh, mortar um, this very fine tuck pointing, which changes the look quite significantly. Absolutely fantastic. It really sets it off, doesn't it? Now, Sean, what, what's this here? Oh, this is some of the original artwork, you know, actually a stain mm -hmm. that they put on the mortar. Um, you know, and, and actually, it's a shame when, when we remove the paint, obviously we, we remove some of the staining, but it is absolutely fantastic. You can see it all the way through. Yeah, you can see it all along here. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And um, are we? We're removing boxes like this. Yes. Yeah. We're trying to trying to get rid of all this all this nasty stuff. We're going to yeah. uh, put the switchboard into the into a little uh, room and at the back there, and a more modern, smaller board. Yeah. This building was built for the Queensland climate, um, but one thing that must have been added, you know, in in the last half century, was all these air conditioner units, which really stand out. It means we don't have the original um, windows, but I understand we have them in storage, ready yes. to come back. Um, but what are we doing with the air conditioners? So the air conditioners are coming out. We're going to put a, a more of a central plant, a, a ducted system. Um, we're going to remove these, find the old, the, the old windows that are in storage, restore them and put them back in, which will, which will just uh, really complement yeah. the, the rooms. And each one of these um, four corner rooms actually have a wonderful fireplace, which isn't very Queensland uh, climate adaptive, but it's still lovely. Yes, absolutely. And note the, um, the, the, the mint green uh, finish around the fireplace and the mantel. Uh, we believe uh, through sampling uh, in the main wall, main hall, that that's the original colour scheme. So we're actually going to return the main hall to that colour scheme, which is it's going to be fantastic. Nice. Hmm. And um, in, in the main room, we're going to get rid of these more modern um, ceiling fans? Yes, absolutely. So yeah. they'll go and all the surface wiring, of course, yeah. you, you know, there's, um, there's all the surface yeah. wiring that needs to be removed. And we've, we've removed all the you know, yeah. conduits that went for mm -hmm. light switches. And the idea is to have a central one switch. So at the entrance, the staff will be able to come in and just press the switch, all the lights and power will come on. Yeah. Uh, it'll be through contact as yeah. the main switchboard. No need to have any more switches anywhere mm -hmm. that'll, that'll ruin the appearance. Yeah. It'd be wonderful, because this is a fantastic mm -hmm. big open space. Yes. Uh, with very high, beautiful pressed metal ceilings. And yes. to get rid of the fans which hang in and sort of dominate it will be really, really special. Yes. And those, um, the circular windows at the top are part of the maritime theme, mm. uh, it being um, a wharf, wharf side building. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And you can see see up there on the walls there that, mm. that the main reason for starting the project was, mm. the, was the paint. Yeah. It's just no longer hanging on. Yeah. Every time you put another coat of paint on, it shrinks the coat below, penetrates, and then you know, uh, contracts the yeah. paint and pulls it off the wall. Um, as you can see there, it's, it's, it's quite plain yeah. that, um, what was happening. And here we have, um, we've adaptively reused the space that was the safe as the access lift. Uh, one of the real challenges you have with historic buildings, um, such as the courthouse across the road, the state government offices, is where you put in the access points to buildings that predate um, understanding and requirements about access. We've sort of decided that we're going to we're going to preserve these yeah. as best we can. Yeah. This yeah. is the best best example of, that we have mm -hmm. of this staining. Um, so we'll we'll, we'll encase this yeah. in, in some first clear perspex. Yeah, that'll be really good. Mm. I think it'll be fantastic. It just um, really shows, you know, what what was done mm -hmm. hundred years ago. 
and um, we will be taking all the services, the conduits, the electricity, and rather having them in, um, in rather than cut, cutting holes in the bricks, we are adding something that's really in line with the borough charter, which is these um, removable um, service basically corridors that can then be taken out at a later point um, yeah. and they don't impact so much on the original um, fabric of the building. So that has all our conduits behind there for the cameras, the, the power, the aircon, just absolutely uh, hides it away lovely. Uh, so Sean, these are you know, quite interesting, um, very high doorways. What is the section above where the door would go? Well, obviously, to be even with the, with the Queensland weather, they were a louver window, so you could have the door closed, louver op operational, so you'd get the, the flow yeah, through. So the hot air rise. Yeah, and, yeah, and um, yeah. obviously, you know, when the breeze away would come from the, from the ocean, straight through, um, those louver windows, 30 odd years of paint and 30, 30 layers of paint on it, um, uh, became an inoperable. So we removed them, had them all completely stripped back, and, and they're in, in the main hall there that you can see them, and they're really in, in fantastic condition. These are obviously patches that were done over the years when they removed the doors. Um, but we'll, we'll, um, we'll paint over them. Yeah, well, th thanks, Sean, for what you're doing here. Um, it's a really very important building for Maribor, Queensland, and indeed Australia. This, um, Customs House, which was at such a busy, busy port by a famous architect. So thank you for what you're doing to care for the building and ensure that it continues to last um, yeah. well into the future. Yeah, absolutely. It's, and it's, and it's, it's deserved of, of, uh, of the time and effort that we're putting into it. It's fantastic.